Welcome back everyone to Frames and Grains episode number three. I finally got my pictures back from Jones photo here in Tucson. So if you guys are fellow <laughs> film photographers and need a good place with good prices for your film development, scanning, and maybe even to pick up some film, be sure to check out Jones photo. So I dropped off nine rolls of film. Unfortunately, my Fuji GW693 did not work properly. A lot of the pictures came out black out of three 120 rolls and one 220 roll only eight pictures came out out of a total of 40 possible pictures the rest of the pictures came out completely black due to the blade staying open for some reason so we have to leave that one on the shelf for a little while or take it in to get fixed so the first pictures you guys will be taking a look at will be the digital pictures which I'll be doing that on future episodes I'll start off either with film and then transition into digital or vice versa just to keep myself and you guys from getting confused on what pictures we're taking with what cameras so this first picture is of a building in downtown Tucson near food conspiracy co-op So these next two pictures are of a U2 on display on base and the U2 is the first jet I worked on for about three years when I first came into the Air Force. And the way I set up the picture of the tail flash is that I specifically wanted some shapes to be in the negative space instead of just being one continuous shape, which is why I decided to have the top of the rudder and the edge of the elevator cutting off and leaving those shapes. The Sahara apartment sign is one of very few pictures I've managed to take with my Fuji GW693. Like I mentioned earlier, for some reason the blades are sticking open. So starting with that brick building you just saw with the power lines, that is in old downtown Tucson. Great place if you guys ever want to go take pictures. A lot of old school brick buildings from back in the day. So these next two pictures you see of the buildings in Bisbee from a high vantage point I took with my Mamiya C220. Unfortunately, I took my 250 millimeter lens when I was trying to get pictures of the sunrise light hitting the buildings. So I couldn't really get a wide picture of the town of Bisbee. So this next picture you see of a pirate sitting down is an accidental double exposure. Unfortunately that happened, but nonetheless, it somewhat looks like a great picture. I saw him there, I asked him if I could take his picture and he was more than willing. This picture of the graffiti you see around a door frame or a doorway on a brick wall. I like the way the colors really popped. I wasn't expecting it to look this way. I believe I used Portra 400 on this picture and I'm sure that has a lot to do with why the colors look the way they do. These next four pictures were taken on my way up Mount Lemon to the Cookie Cafe I believe it's called. The picture of the snow on the railing and the out of focus picture of the treetops were on my way down from the top of Mount Lemon. And the reason why this picture is out of focus is because I missed the type of picture I was trying to take. I had parked off to the side of the road a little too late, so I figured I'll just take a random out of focus picture. And it doesn't look too bad. You can kind of make out what it is, but maybe I'll get the picture next time. Two of these last three pictures were taken while my family was here in October for my birthday. The first one is of my wife braiding my sister's hair. This next one is of the Valdez family, including Zelda. My sister asked me to take a picture of them, and so I did, and it came out pretty good. A little bit of lens flare on the bottom right corner, but overall, great picture. This last picture is a self-portrait I took 
I figured since there aren't many pictures of myself in my library, I might as well just use up the last two or three frames in my Mamiya to take a good self portrait. Nothing crazy, just a double exposure and it came out pretty good. All right guys, that's it for episode number two. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys like the picture. I hope you guys like this episode. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys next time. FNG out.